What's the name, make, and model in your of your car? Um, he is a Dodge Caliber. His name is Doyle, and he is a 2009. Did you buy it, or was it a gift? Um, I wrecked my last car, and we used that to uh, the insurance money to pay for that, and then I got a loan for the rest of it. So I, I bought half of it. What makes this car yours? Um, well, it's the first car I've ever made payments on, so that kind of makes it feel like mine a lot. And I, you know, I like to decorate it, so it's pretty much mine. Any fun stories you have with this car? Um, I ran out of gas a lot on the side of the road. Um, I've hit, uh, I've killed two deer with it, so um, one right and right to the side on the driver's side door. Um, it was a buck, so someone else got the antlers, not me. Uh, let's see. I don't know, I just, I go a lot of places with it, like off-roading when I shouldn't, so it's kind of low to the ground, so, but it's, it's got me through a lot of stuff, so. So what's the make and model of your car and your name and the year? My name is Tyler Moore. I drive a white 2006 Subaru Impreza. Was the car given to you or did you buy it with your own money? Uh, my parents and I, we split the cost of the vehicle. Um, it was $14,000, so I funded $7,000 of it. What makes this car yours? Um... It's white, I'm white. That's what makes it mine. What makes this car, what's what's a funny story about this car other than the fact that it's white and it's yours and you're white? The only thing that I could think of about a funny <coughs> story in my car is when we went out that one day and we were driving around and you were like yelling and screaming all that time with a few other people in the car. And I just couldn't stop laughing because you just kept going off about something and I just can't remember what it was. I think we were at a stop sign and I didn't go right away and you just kept fucking going off and yelling. And no, because Dave had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, Dave had to go to the bathroom and you were just going off and I was just laughing at the fact that you were angry. I think that's what it was. And we were all just cracking up and we couldn't stop laughing and I think that was probably the highlight of my car so far. I don't know. All right, so uh, name and make and model in your, your car. Ian Lowe. Uh, it's a Subaru Legacy 2014. Um, was, it, was your car bought? Or did you buy your car? Or was, it, was it a gift? Uh, half and half. Uh, it's my first car, so my parents helped me out with the loan and everything and are paying for it while I'm in school. So any uh, particular good stories you have about your car since it is your first? Uh, I like racing around with it. I don't know. It's a fun little, it has four wheel drive, so it corners really well. And I don't know. I love Subarus, so it's a great car. You race anybody? Uh, a few times, maybe. A few times. You want any? No. Uh, <laughs> it's slow. I need to do some work to it. <laughs> But it's, it's cool. I like it in the winter where I can do uh, for a little drifting. It's a lot of fun. Uh, other than that, I don't know. So you haven't done anything to the car at all? Like no, it's all stock. Uh, I haven't really had the time to. So uh, what, what, what would you say makes this car yours? Like, do people see you and notice, like, they see that car and they go, oh, that's Ian, or is it more of, like, is it just like, have you done any personal touches to your car that just makes it yours? Um, I don't know. I like Subarus a really lot, a lot. Um, so I guess it's a Subaru, and that's a reason for it to be my car. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> special to me. Uh, it's my first car. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty special. That's. Uh, it gets me where I want to be anytime I want to go. So.
Your name and make and model of your car and year. Okay. I don't know the year. My name's Carl. Do I need the last name? Well, most people have them. Okay, I'm I'm Carl. Uh, what, was, what was my name yesterday? Captain. Captain Psycho. Captain Psycho. My name is Captain Psycho. <laughs> we'll roll with that. Um, let's see, make and model. It's a uh, Chrysler Town and Country, which is just this green ass soccer mom van that Chrysler decided to put out for whatever reason. And I don't know what the year is on it, so that's fun. When uh, was the car a gift, or did you buy it yourself? Well. <clears throat> I didn't buy it myself, but it wasn't necessarily a gift either. Um, my dad had, hey, take it to college. I was like, okay. And I took that because it had a working stereo in it. And I can't deal with the car that doesn't have a working stereo in it. Gotta listen to my music. So, okay. Looks good. So, what makes the car yours? Is Just the any... fact that I drive it around, I guess. Like, my parents like were like, we're not going to use it. Go ahead and take it to school. So you haven't done anything to it to make it yours, like, you know? I mean, I use it to, like, haul these fine people who you can totally see in this audio recording over to, uh, your, your over to this, this house here. <laughs> There's that. Um, that's David. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, <laughs> we just, like, haul a bunch of crap in it. Um, and I've been using it a lot lately just, like, hit up record shops and crap and whatnot, but I haven't really made it my own vehicle yet. Although, the crap that I'll blast out of the stereo, you might consider it mine. Just like, you'll, you'll hear like, Primus, you'll hear fucking Pink Floyd, fucking Fish, like whatever, whatever the hell I'm listening to that day. So how many stars you have with that minivan? Um, I think the best one, well there's, there's a, I just like to get reactions out of people as much as I can, and people don't usually expect you to be blasting rancid at, like, you know, 45 volume out of the... I think it only goes up to, like, 30-something, but whatever. I was blasting a rancid CD out of it one time. It was probably, like, 3 in the afternoon, or 3 or three to 5 in the afternoon. Some people were getting off of work, and there was, like, this, this family that pulled up next to me while I was rocking out, and I was just, like had my windows rolled down, sitting at the top of my lungs, and, like, the mom who was driving just, like, looked over at me and was just, like, mortified at this ginger child rocking out to Rancid in a soccer mom van. It was hilarious. And then there was the time that my friends convinced me it was a good idea back home. They convinced me it was a good idea to, like, drive around at, like, 2 or 3 in the morning blasting Dead Kennedys albums and Butthole Surfers albums. So there's really... I mean, I can't really speak for everyone here, but in my mind, and this might be a total joke, I don't even know. There's there's nothing better than listening to Ameri than listening to the butthole surfer cover of American Woman at like three in the morning because it is just so fucking weird. And if you pass a cop, you just turn the volume down, you just kind of wave at them. Usually, they, like they wave back. None of them turned their sirens on, so that was good, right? But yeah, um, so we're just driving through back roads of this town, talking. State your name and the make of your car and the year it was made. My name's Danny Murphy, and I drive a 1997 Mercury Mountaineer. When did you get that car? I got the car the summer of 2013. Was it a gift, or was it? did you buy it with your own money? I bought it. We, Me and my parents went split half on it. Why did you get it? Was it just because you needed one, or was it... I needed one because I wrecked my other car, and I because I I wrecked my other car, which was a Ford Explorer. So it's almost exactly like my new one now, which is kind of weird. But I wrecked my other car on my way to Six Flags, and I hit some lady, and I didn't get to go to Six Flags. So it was kind of a bum. I was more bummed about that than the car. So any other memorable stories besides you getting in a wreck about the new car that you have that? Um kind of makes it more your your car and no one else's and that makes it special to you well i don't know how many people have driven a car without a speedometer but i had to do that for six months so it was kind of cool and i've only got i got a ticket once and that was it so i'm pretty proud of that since i could have been pulled over a shit ton of times but doc brown would have hated that car get it because he has to go 88 so he wouldn't know Absolutely. <laughs>